Simon Sweden. So we'll share a few things with you, what we know. And uh, then after that, we'll do some interactive exercise, pranayama and yoga. As you know, my wife is here, Uma. She is the National Yoga Coordinator of Canada and our very capable teachers, Shelzaji and Tabushi. They are here. They will help you if you have any question. How much time do you have? Till 12. Till 12? Okay. Before I start, I would like to give a token of uh, gift to the board, executive board here. So Manakaji and Brahmatri, if you can come. This is a little book, Yog and Synergy with Medical Science by Acharya Bhavatishuji. So for your library. We have a very short time, it's about 35 minutes, to cover a lot. So we'll just give a brief overview of yoga and pranayama. After that we'll be around, so if you have any questions, we won't have time for question and answer, but we can have some question and answers on one-to-one -one basis. So before I say anything, we'll start our session. We always start by chanting Om three times. You can sit on chair and uh, hands on your knees, back straight, neck straight, close your eyes, deep breath through your chest and three times we'll chant Om. considered as more of exercise. Yoga is a way of life. Yoga can change the energy like you heard. It manifests. The energy manifests itself. So yoga has many parts to it, not only exercise. So what I'll do, we'll experience the yoga, pranayama exercises. In between, we will do some micro exercise. So it consists of micro exercise, consists of pranayama. Ninety percent benefit you get it from pranayama. Then it has postures, asanas. That's the whole consist of Ashtanga Yoga, eight parts. So seven pranayam. We start with Bhastrika pranayam. Bhastrika pranayam is a simple pranayam. Breathing in and breathing out. Now before we do that, 
few things to be careful of in pranayam. Basic rules, whatever you do, there are some rules. So few of them, no speed, no force. Do not exert your lungs because lungs are very delicate organ of your body. You can damage your lung cells if you do it forcefully. Slow and gentle. Anybody who has any abdomen or heart surgery, they should not do kapal bhati and abdomen exercise for at least six months. Anyone, any sister who is expecting a baby, or they should not do any abdomen exercises. Slow and gentle breathing. So close your eyes and our teachers are doing it. If you need any help, they can come and help you. Close your eyes, back straight, neck straight, hands in Gyan Mudra, index finger touching your thumb and hand gently on your knees. Just open like this and back straight, neck straight, close your eyes and breathe in from your nose two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out gentle and softly breathe in and breathe out expand your lungs thoracic breathing not your abdomen breathing because the lungs are in thorax or in your chest so chest should expand, not your abdomen. When you are breathing in, consider that universal energy you are getting your lungs filled with. You are connecting yourself to the universe energy, the prana. This will expand your lungs. This helps to calm you down, relax you, removes your stress and makes your respiratory system stronger. These are the benefits, some of them. It helps in thyroid problems. You must do it at least five minutes every day. So two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. So five seconds a cycle. In a minute you can do it for 12 times. In five minutes you can do it for 60 times. Five minutes every day, calming it down, sit down quietly and do Bhastrika Pranayam. It will give you wonderful results. You can connect to yourself. Breath has a lot of energy. It's all scientific. I'll give you little few points based on scientific fact how pranayama works. Oxygen is life. If there is no oxygen, there is no life. Oxygen is universe, Brahman. If there is no oxygen, there is no universe. Oxygen itself is a medication, is a medicine. Swami Vivekananda also said this. It's the strongest medicine we have it in this universe. And we are breathing in and breathing out. And this medicine, the strongest medicine, is free to all of us. And there is no tax on it by government of Canada. Once they find it out, the benefit of it, they might put a tax on it. So you can relax it. So this uh, gives you a little bit of Bhastrika Pranaya. It fills up your lungs, your body with energy. So in Bhastrika Pranaya, you collect the energy. Shakti ka sarjan hota hai, Bhastrika Pranaya mein. You are collecting energy in Bhastrika Pranayam. The Pranayam is a series. You have to do it serially. Bhastrika Pranayam is the first Pranayam. 
Then in between you can do some micro exercises. Micro exercises are for your joints. We'll show you, uh, our beautiful ladies here, they will demonstrate some micro exercise for your joints. You can have the fingers, then toes, then uh, whole feet, you can do it. So all the micro exercise, the benefits of micro exercise to joints are three benefits. It reduces the swelling from the joint, it removes the fat from the joint, and it makes joints flexible and more relaxed. So these small exercises in between from the toes to the top, we'll just demonstrate it, you can pick it up and then you can do it at home. We have regular classes going on throughout Canada and metro area, free classes, free yoga, uh, pranayam classes. We have about 750 teachers in Canada. They are giving the charity of good health. Good health is human beings' birthright. That's, one, that's what Swami Ramdevji is working on. So we give our services free, of course, no charge to it. Second pranayam is Kapal Bhati Pranayam. Kapal Bhati Pranayam is an abdomen exercise. So again, they will demonstrate the Kapal Bhati. I'll keep talking it if you have done it. How many people have done Pranayam? Okay, there are quite a few, you know it. So you know about the Pranayam. Anybody else who has any question, please raise your hand so the teachers will come and teach you. Kapal Bhati is a very sensitive Pranayam. It's a difficult Pranayam to master if you are doing it for the first time. But it's a very sensitive Pranayam to do it. Any Bhaji, if they are in the and the monthly cycle, they should uh, do it very slowly, gently. Anybody with a back problem, with hernia, with ulcer, uh, with diabetes, with glaucoma, they should do it very gently. No force, no speed. That's a very important thing to understand in Kapal Bhati. Otherwise, you can raise your blood pressure. If you have a heart problem, you have a, any surgeries, must do it slowly and gently. Six months later, you should do the after the surgery. But it's a very gentle pranayam. Only the abdomen goes in and come out like this. You are breathing out like you are cleaning your nose with the Kleenex. Try to do, do that. If you are doing for the first time, you can keep your hand below your nose and see you are exhaling. So breath is coming out and the three-fourth times of the time you are breathing out and one-fourth time the breath must go in. So you are taking out, you are exhaling your air, you are taking all the toxins out, you are taking all the elements out from your body. So this removes your toxins. 70% of the toxins from the body comes out from breath. This is medically said. 70% of toxins from your body comes out from breath. The rest of the 30% toxins from, comes from your sweating, urine, feces, those kind of things. So breath is a very important part in getting the energy and removing the toxins. Both way it works. So Kapal Bhati is one second, one stroke, no force, no speed. Otherwise it can cause you more disadvantage rather than giving you benefits. Kapal Bhakti is a very important exercise of your software organ. There are two types of organs in our body. Hardware and software you, you can compare with the computer. Hardware are our muscles and bones. We can run, we can jog, we can play tennis. Then your bones and muscles will get stronger. Body will be flexible. But you will not have exercise of your software organ that is all the internal important organs like heart, lungs, kidney, stomach, intestine, pancreas, those are very important organs of your body because they are functioning for you and they are doing the work for you. If you don't make them strong and healthy, our body will be unhealthy. Any imbalance in your body is the name of the disease. Any imbalance in the body is the name of the disease. So if you have a problem in any organ, that creates imbalance and that gives you some disease, some name of a disease. There are various kind of diseases are there so that can cause problems in your organ. Mainly two types of things are causing most of the disease nowadays. Those are stress and weight. People are getting overweight, 
kids are getting obese, people are getting obese, and they are stressed out. So these are the two problems are caused by causing many diseases. Pranayam can control these two things and correct them. Pranayam should be done properly and timely. Four things to remember. The timing has to be right, the method has to be right, your commitment has to be there for every day, like you eat, take shower, go to work. So pranayam should be done on a commitment basis every day. Then you expect 100% benefit. You can you control your weight, you can remove your stress, you can be the happiest person you want to be. Because you are connecting to yourself. Through prana. Prana is the universal energy, it is available to everybody. Kapal Bhakti should be done 5 minutes in a cycle, not more than that. 1 second, 1 stroke. 1 second, 1 stroke. Not fast, not slow. So that is very important. In, 60, in, 60, in 1 minute you can do 60 times, 5 minutes you can do 300 times. So you can count it if you are doing it in the beginning. So if you do it too much, you can take a rest. And uh, again, uh, young uh, beautiful ladies will show you some uh, other, other micro exercise of the uh, hands or butterfly. So these butterflies are very important for your hip joint and knee joint that will relax your joints and everything. In between pranayam you can do some micro exercises to relax yourself to give you break and that gives you a little bit of uh, break in these things you know. So it is a very good exercise for the knees and for, for the hips and everything. So whatever you can do just uh, see it otherwise. And that will give you. So Kapal Bhati is a very important pranayam. To make your internal software organs stronger, it gives the exercise to the software organs. It squeezes your stomach, intestine, kidneys, pancreas. And once the squeeze is there, there is a more blood circulation goes into the system in each organ. Pranayam benefits, what are those? Pranayam benefits are, it increases your blood supply in your arteries, veins, heart, 10 times more oxygen you get it by doing pranayam. In one hour if you do pranayam every day, you can have as much as of oxygen as you can breathe in 24 hours a day. Number third benefit, it increases your body immunity. If the immunity of the body is increased, then you are fighting capability to the diseases, bacteria and viruses will increase. You will be healthy. Number four, it increases the good hormones and it reduces the stress hormones. Bad chemicals goes down, toxins goes down, negativity goes down. And number five benefits of pranayam, it gives internal exercise to your software organs. So these micro exercises are very good for the frozen shoulder, for the people who have diabetes, they get the frozen shoulder and uh, very good for your shoulders, for your wrist, for your joints. So all the joints will be healthy and will last longer. You don't have to go for the joint replacement surgery. So Kapal Bhati will make your uh, digestive system stronger, excretory system stronger, reproductive system stronger and those will have lot of blood going into the nowadays because the problem is that we are not breathing enough oxygen every single day in a lifetime we have a fixed breath about 1 billion breaths we have in our lifespan we can breathe in now in older days sages and swamis and sadhus they used to live longer why because they used to control their breath. So they were conserving their breath. Average time, human being, we are breathing about 12, 16 times a minute. If we breathe less, we'll live longer. Why horses and dogs, they die early? The lifespan is 16 to 20 years because they breathe faster. Dogs and horses. While a turtle can live up to 400 years because they breathe four times a minute. So it's, we have a set breath count for human beings. One billion breath. So if you conserve more breath, you'll live longer.
And that control will come from Pranayama. We are breathing shorter and shallower. That's why our lifespan is getting shorter and shorter. These are Chakki Chalana. Chakki Chalana is good for your losing fat from the belly. And uh, the golfers will give you a good swing, you know. Make you flexible. So these are some of the in-between exercises you can do it with uh, uh, alternative with pranayama and that's going to be giving you relaxation and make you body and muscles stronger. Now next pranayama is the anulom vilom pranayama. Anulom vilom pranayama is alternate nostril breathing. We use the right hand, right thumb and right nostril to start with. The hand is like this and the other hand, left hand in Gyan Mudra is index finger and the thumb and three fingers open on the left knee and close your right nostril right. with your right hand and breathe in from the left nostril. Breathe in and these two fingers we use to correct the, to close the left nostril. Breathe in from the left and these index and middle finger to close the left nostril and breathe out from the right nostril. Then breathe in from the right nostril, thumb on the right, right nostril and breathe out from the left. Now breathe in from the left, breathe out from the right. Breathe in from the right and breathe in from the left. You can close your eyes and connect to yourself. Again, think positive that you are connecting to the universal energy of this universe. You are filling up your lungs with energy, full of energy. Keep breathing it, keep doing it. From breathe in from the left and breathe out from the right. This sequence is very important. Two and a half second to breathe in, two and a half second to breathe out. Always start from the left nostril and always finish from the left nostril. So left nostril to right, right to left. Two and a half second to breathe in, two and a half second to breathe out. So five second a cycle. In a minute you can do it for 12 times and five minutes you can do it for 60 times. Alternate nostril breathing. So always start from the left, not from the right. So always start from the left. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Always start from the left. The reason from starting from the left because left is moon, left is cold and right is heart, right is sun. If we start from the right and finish from the right, you may start bleeding from the nose. So always start from the left and finish the cycle, breathe out from the left. So that anulom vilom has a lot of power in it, a lot of energy in it. With the anulom vilom, if you do it, it can clear your blockages, it can lower your cholesterol, it gives strength to your respiratory system, it increases the blood circulation in in the heart, in the arteries, in the veins. It stimulates your endocrine system, endocrine glands, hormones, chemicals, because endocrine glands make hormones and chemicals in your body. Now, have you thought of it? The, the, the precious gift of life God has given to us is the most powerful pharmaceutical company in this world. How many chemicals and hormones our body can produce? Think of it. All the medicines what have been manufactured outside, we take it for different diseases. But God has given the power to manufacture all those chemicals and hormones in our own body. But we don't take care of those things. This is the most powerful pharmaceutical company in the world. Each human being, each person sitting here. Can you name, can anybody name a pharmaceutical company who can make these many chemicals or hormones but our body is capable of making it? No. Under one roof, one ph pharmaceutical company cannot make these many chemicals, these many medicines but our body is able to make it. So any imbalance in our hormones and chemicals create a disease process. So name of the disease is imbalance in our body. So keep the balance in your body. We need blood pressure in our body. We need sugar in our body. We need cholesterol in our body. So don't think that we need zero blood pressure, zero cholesterol, or zero sugar. No. We have a balance. So where is it coming from? 
we are manufacturing our own sugar, we are manufacturing our own cholesterol, we are having own blood pressure. But if we let it go up and down, it's a problem. It cannot go up, it cannot go down. Thyroid hormones, if it goes up, it creates problem. If it goes down, it creates problem. Right? So these are the things we have to be careful of. And this pranayama will give you a lot of energy, a lot of uh, uh, balance in your body, and a lot of energy in your billions of cells in the body. Next pranayama we'll do is uh, Brahmari pranayama. Now these are the three pranayama in a sequence. Bhastrika, Kapalbhati, and Alongudon. Don't, don't worry about the names but uh, learn the proper method. You can go on YouTube, Swami Ramdevji's videos are available there, free, there is no charge for that, their website has some videos. So from, from, from this exercise, then we can take you to the meditation. Next three exercises will be the meditation. That is Brahmari, Udgit and Pranam. So we are connecting ourselves to our soul, and going to the meditation. These three exercises are very good. Brahmi pranayam is very good pranayam for eyes and ears. It's good for the people who have insomnia, who have difficulty in sleeping. It's good for the kids, for their intelligence, IQ, and increases the memory. Anybody who does not sleep well, they can do it 11 times before they go to bed. That will help them to relax them, to remove the stress. To reduce the blood pressure. Dhamri pranayama is done by these two index fingers keeping on your forehead and these three fingers will close our eyes lid and the thumb closes your ear lid. It does not go inside otherwise it will injure your ear. And we breathe in and then chant home inside like a bumblebee or humming noise. We'll do it three times. Breathe in and make the humming noise.
keep your eyes closed. Pranam Pranayam is very slow and silent breathing, silent name chanting of Om in your heart, in your mind. Breathe in and breathe out. Just feel the cold air at the bridge of the nose going in your nostrils. Warm air coming out. Deeper and slower. Here is the control of breath. Deeper and slower. Connect to yourself, center yourself, connect all with your soul, and look inside yourself. We keep on looking outside, our eyes look outwards, we never give opportunity to our own eyes to look inside. There is so many things going on inside. Connect to your self. This is the time for you to connect to yourself. This is the appointment time with yourself. Know who you are. Have the positive energy, collect it, it helps you to reduce your stress. The secret of breath or it calms your mind, it heals your body, it, energi it energizes your whole body. What else can you want? from a free oxygen, from free breathing. You will be happy and healthy. And do prana pranayam for at least two to five minutes. And once you are ready, you raise your hand over your head and rub them, create some yogic energy in your palms by rubbing till it becomes heated up and bring that heated palm on your eyes and give that yogic energy to your eyes and open slowly. is a little bit of demonstration of pranayama and after doing the pranayama you must do your shavasana. Shavasana is yoga nidra or shavasana you can do it that's the king of asanas. Lie down for five minutes once you do pranayama after that that is a must. That helps to distribute the energy what we have created with pranayama and it calms you down, it brings you to a peace. Because any exercise, if you do it, there are a lot of acid generated in muscles. And that acid accumulated one portion, so doing the Shavasana will spread it out to different places of your body. Few more things before I finish. Pranayama has no religion. Like what has no religion? Fire is no religion. Diseases, diseases do not ask you what religion you are. Hindu, Muslim, Christian. That is the same for Hindu, Muslim, Christians. You go to the doctor, they do not ask you what religion are you from. They, not, they do not give you the medicines according to religion. Same medicine for diabetes for Hindu Muslim Christians. So same way as fire has no religion, water has no religion, air has no religion, oxygen has no religion, pranayama has no religion. 
So pranayam will connect to yourself, it will unite the whole religion because it is universal, energy is universal, prana is universal. So take home this message and help your family, help your community come to the classes and get the advantage of becoming healthy. If you are healthy, you will be happy. I think this is the most wonderful experience me and my wife and as a family we had it in the last four years. We feel ourselves heavenly. We feel very happy. It's a unique experience. Hell is here, heaven is here. Who has seen heaven? <coughs> we have heard about heaven, that there is a heaven. Nobody has seen heaven. In my opinion, hell is here, heaven is here. So experience it. It's all karma ka fal. So have good karmas and do it well. Enjoy it. And a couple of things I will say. Home at home. Home at home will unite the family and bring the harmony in family. So take home message. Home at home will unite the family and create harmony in the family. Everybody will say with me, if I say home at home, if I say home at home, if I do yoga at home, I will have peace at home, I will have no rogue at home. Okay? By breathing well, by breathing well, I sleep well, by breathing well, I think well, by breathing well, I eat well, and by breathing well, I look well. That's what people tell me nowadays. So if I can do it, you all can do it. The benefit of this free treasure of India, you can use it and make yourself healthy, make your family healthy, make yourself happy and feel heavenly right here on Mother Earth. Thank you very much again. Enjoy the day. Oh.